Hi, everybody. This is Carrie Hamblin, the CEO and president of the Las Cruces Green Chamber of Commerce, coming to you again with another one of our Zoom chats, which is a benefit for all of our members of the Las Cruces Green Chamber of Commerce. We get to have conversations with you to help uplift you on our social media and through our email marketing. And this is a great opportunity for me to introduce to you Kimmy Cravens, who is the Museum Development Coordinator with Engage New Mexico. Kimmy, it is so lovely to meet you finally. Yes, it's great to meet you as well. Thank you so much for having me. And so you're you're originally from St. Louis. You've moved down here um, from Washington, correct? Before you came no, here, no, I moved here from St. Louis. We were in Colorado briefly, but uh, decided that the northeastern plains of Colorado were not great, so we came down to the desert. Down to the desert southwest, and 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 we'll welcome because you moved here in January of 2020. Yes, great time to move to a new city. <laughs> right before pandemic and you don't get yes. to know anybody and you get isolated, but you've done such a great job. You've hit the ground running with Engage New Mexico and you know, for an incredible cause because it's the Children's Museum, the Children's Mobile Museum and the Family Resource Center. And um, you know, I, I know I've been to a couple of children's museums in, in my life and they're fascinating experiences. They're very kinesthetic. And it's very interactive. And so give me the, the, the history about, and I mean, I know the history, but I like other people to tell, the, to, to tell the history of really why we need a children's mobile museum here. Yeah, so this idea came out of the Early Childhood Coalition as part of the Success Partnership in 2015-2016. Um, a group of educators and people passionate about early childhood came together to, with this idea of the hub, which would be a family resource center to connect families with different resources in the area. That kind of got developed more and they decided to move forward with a children's museum with a family resource center integrated into it. Um, out of that came the mobile museum, which is Vamos Niños. And that is where we are right now is developing um, out our mobile museum. And so with this idea, I mean, it's it, it's very practical because then what you can do is you can take the museum to the kids instead of thinking kids have access to transportation, which a lot of them don't, um, you know, schools would have to rent buses because our school system is, we have to pay for buses, um, you know, and so this is really an opportunity to bring the museum to the kids and to the families. And so, uh, which is, which is brilliant, um, you know, and, and so, You've got some slides that I'm really kind of curious to see because I haven't seen these slides before. You haven't. And, well, that's and I, so I want you I've to describe them slides. to everyone. Yes. So, <laughs> so for let me. Genius. So go ahead and, and bring up the slides, if you will. There you yes. go. So what we are doing is we are taking a 44 foot toy hauler RV that we have essentially gutted, which is crazy to see, but it's been awesome. So we're left with just under 500 square feet of usable space. So it is going to be divided up into three kind of areas. You'll enter in the center. Oopsies. You'll enter in the center, which is the workshop area where uh, we'll have seating. We will have some discovery boxes of different activities that kids can do with their families. And then we'll also have the family resource center over in this area. Uh, then, you know, we'll have a video microscope. Kids can look at stuff, their shoes, stuff they find outside. We'll have some things, whatever they really want to see, which is cool. And then we'll go up uh, the upper area. We've called the tree house, which is really cool. And we'll have some kind of quieter sensory activities up there, a pet vet, which is like a always popular thing at uh, children's museums. I never really? knew that until I got into this project. Pet vets, they are the big thing for kids. Uh, we'll have reading up here too, because that's always important. And then in the back is really cool. That's kind of our STEM active. We'll yeah. have an air tube wall, magnetic wall, pegs, gears, all kinds of things. Outside, we'll have some musical instruments, some of these giant blue blocks from Imagination Playground, which are incredible. And uh, lots for kids to do. That was a very quick one run through, but that was, but it's so and it's still on wheels though. You're going to be able, is it a trailer or is it a self contained like RV? Uh, it's a trailer. So it's a self contained RV. It's a trailer that will be pulled by a truck, which we still need to purchase. That's why we're fundraising. But um, it will stay attached, but we'll have things that kind of come outside. So kids and families can go inside and kind of do the things that are there. 
but things like the drums and the blocks, then we'll have some other activities outside to kind of extend the space. Cause we're only looking at, I think it's 468 uh, square feet, give or take. So right. you can only fit so many people into that space. Um, yeah, you so need we'll, to be able you know, to use and, and you know, this is the thing that I love is that this is, you know, kind of a compliment to like our community schools initiative that Engage has been working on as well uh, together is that, you know, we're really, so many people and so many families are saying that there's not enough for kids and families to do. Um, and, and I get it. And so, you know, I think it's really wonderful that we have this opportunity for the Children's Museum for Vamos Niños. Um, and, and so, but as you had mentioned, this is like a $200,000 price tag that is going to cost. And so one of the things that you're having is an event coming up um, on Wednesday at our friend Salud de Masia. And so can you kind of talk about that a little bit? Sure. So we are having a Friends of the Museum event. We're kind of launching our Friends of the Museum group for people who really want to support the work of our museum. And we are doing that on Wednesday evening, June 15th from four to six at Salud. Uh, if you're interested in joining, just shoot me an email and I'll, I'll get you on the list. I am the keeper of the list, so it's not, you know, that <laughs> but uh, we'll get you there. We would love to have you learn more about the museum and learn um, the ways you can support us because the price tag is actually significantly more than the 200,000. We've received some grant funds. We received a federal allocation through Senator Heinrich's office that he um, pushed for. Deal. Yes, <laughs> great big deal. We're very grateful for that. So. While we have some funds, we still have quite a way to go and we really can't build it until we secure all of the funds. So we're right. we're working on it. Well, you know, and this is the thing is, is that, I mean, you're a professional fundraiser. You and I both, before we even started recording, we're talking about fundraising and, and challenging in a community that is, Las Cruces is known to be a very giving community. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's, it's overwhelming when you are trying to spearhead a particular cause and then people come out and it's it's lovely when people find something that they're like, yes, I want to commit to this. I want to help out with this. I get the value of this. And when we're talking about Vamos Niños and and the value of a children's museum and a resource center, can you kind of go that route? Is like this is I mean, this is your pitch, Kimmy, really. Um, <laughs> and, and you know it. You know what you're doing. So I mean, so what's the value of this museum, and why is it that people should support it? Yeah. So Vamos Niños is play-based learning. And I, you know, we talk a lot about play, but we're really targeting early childhood. Right now, you know, three to five younger and older siblings and family members are obviously going to get a benefit from attending. But it's play-based learning. It's sensory learning. It's using their hands and using the world around them it's to learn and to understand. And we're going to be very focused on the family involvement. So we aren't necessarily going to have, you know, our volunteers or staff teaching the kids, we're really going to encourage their parents, grandparents, aunts, family, whomever caretaker to interact with them and to teach them, um, you know, to ask questions and we'll have guidance for families throughout the museum. But, you know, it's it's just a resource. And by being mobile, we're able to go all over John Anya County. We're not limited to Las Cruces, which is really exciting. And we can access places that it's kind of hard to get here from there. Um, and that way, you know, more people will have access to this resource. And then not just the play-based learning, but by having the Family Resource Center, they can learn what else is there for them, what can support them, you know, home visiting, other early childhood resources, education, um, special needs help, things like that. Well, and that is, that is, you know, so perfect because it's an opportunity. It's really kind of opening the door for families in our community and especially our rural parts of the county of knowing what resources are there that they may not have been taking advantage of beforehand and being able to benefit from and their kids being able to benefit from. And then really, you know, kind of working out of that, we, you know, we call this a cycle of poverty and you and I can get into a political conversation about all the different ramifications of that. But ultimately, Vamos Niños is going to be bringing play-based learning to communities around Doniana County and in Las Cruces proper. Um, because when kids are that little, they need that kinesthetic, like hands-on stuff in order for things to process in their little brains as they're starting to develop. Absolutely. And it's, you know, there's just so much opportunity here. It's, it's a really exciting project. It's, I've been at it for about a year. And the, the more I get into the project, the more excited I, I get about it. Whenever I talk about it, I get very animated. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it together. But it's just something exciting and long overdue. And it's something that the committee has been working on for seven years almost at this yeah. point. So 
I'm excited to get, we're almost there. We're so close. We can see it. We can see it. And especially if you're starting to gut the, the trailer, um, that's always like my forte is to like remodel and have fun <laughs> stuff, but um, time is of the essence. So Kimmy, I am so super excited. I hope I'm not able to be with you on Wednesday and I'm really bummed about that, but I know that there are going to be folks who are committed to helping our families and our kids have play-based learning because we know that, that is something that really helps give them an edge and helps them, you know, succeed uh, as they develop this foundation of their ability to learn and to process information. And so very excited about that. If you're interested in going to the reception on Wednesday, the 15th at Salud de Mesilla from 4 to 6 p.m. to learn about Vamos Niños, the Children's Museum and Re Family Resource Center, you'll be able to contact Kimmy via email. You'll see her email either above or below. Um, you'll also see the website where you can learn more about the, the Children's Museum. It's Vamos Niños. Uh, dot org. And so did I say that right? Was it vamos niños dot org? Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. I want to make sure because I have it written down and, and I don't have it like right here blurring at me. It is. So and we're like, a program of Engage. So you can probably find us on Engage's website too. Right. Engage New Mexico, which has been a long and full transparency. I'm on the leadership circle and success partnership. So, but you know, it's, it's a good cause. And so very excited. I know I'm going to get to meet you in person soon. But uh, best of success for Wednesday. And it was really lovely talking to you. And if you're a member of the Green Chamber and would like to do a Zoom chat to help uplift your business, contact me here on the Green Chamber Facebook page and I'll be more than happy to schedule that to, with you. And Kimmy, we've got your information up and uh, very excited and best of luck to you. And we will see you soon. So have a great day. Thanks so much. You too.